Hello, great minds. Welcome to another exciting and fun field lesson on quantitative reasoning with Mr. Ehigian. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at test number nine. All right. In test number nine, we are going to be looking at four examples. In example one, we are going to be making use of the concept of addition and subtraction. All right. Addition and subtraction. Now, let's look at the picture. Now, in this picture, we have nine different numbers forming three horizontal lines. In the first line, a second line, and a third line. And we are going to be making use of sum, that is, to add. All right so let's look at how we are going to deal with this in the first line we have a 12 or 5 and a 2 when we add up these numbers we are going to have a total of 19 all right 19 now the second line has an 8 a 1 and a 10 again when we add together we get a 19 so it is obvious that these three lines give us the same number when they are added together for example in the third line we have a 7 another 7 and a 5 so when added together we get a 19 so if each line gives us 19, how do we find all right, any number when it is missing? Obviously, we know the sum of all the numbers in any given line gives us 19. So, to get the number, we do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. First, we add up the given numbers. That is, 10 and 1 gives us 11. All right? Then we can subtract from 19 the 11. And that will give us 8. So this is why we have 8 on that position. Now, in the second example, we will be making use of addition and subtraction. In the picture, we have a total of five numbers and they are connected like this for example the 25 is connected to 16 and 9 how well if you add 16 to 9 it will give you 25 25 all right so it means 16 and 9 can help us to get the value 25 again the 14 the 9 and then the 5 are connected how because when we add the 9 and the 5 it gives us 14 so 9 plus 5 that will give us 14. So, now let's go back to the picture again. If we decide to find the number 5, making use of the 9 and the 14. So, first of all, we write down 14 and then subtract from it the 9. So, we are doing the opposite of addition. 14 minus 9 is 5. Alright. So this is how we get the 5. Now let's look at example number 3. Where we make use of addition 
subtraction all right then imaginary number two and imaginary number three all right now let's see the picture in this picture we have a two we also have a five and the mixed number six and a half all right now we want to look at how we can get the six and a half making use of the two and the five well the first thing that comes to mind is the five multiplied by the imaginary number three all right five times three is fifteen so we've made use of the imaginary number three now the 15 we subtract 2 from the 15 that gives us 13 13 all right now this 13 is divided by the imaginary number 2 to get the result 6 or number 1 over 2 or 6 and a half all right okay now if we wish to get the five this time around and we need to make use of the two and the six and a half let's go back to the board but this time around we are going to start with a six and a half so what do we do we multiply the six and a half by the imaginary number two so six and a half times two gives us a thirteen thirteen now what do we do next we add up the two on the left side to the thirteen so what do we get or fifteen so there is still an imaginary number three we have not used yet so what do we do we divide the 15 by the imaginary number 3 and then the result we get is 5 so this is how we get the 5 okay if we wish to get the 2 now using the 5 and the 6 and a half again we are going to start with the imaginary number 3 so we multiply 5 by 3 and that gives us 15 all right so once we have done this we take the six and a half which is the number on the right and multiply it by the imaginary number two okay so what do we get is all 13 13 so what do we do we subtract these two results so 15 minus 13 is 2 so this is how we solve example number 3 now example number 4 where we'll be making use of addition and subtraction in what we call the vein diagram so we're making use of addition and subtraction in vein diagram in this Venn diagram we have three circles each representing a different cream used by pupils in a school from the diagram we can see where the three circles intersect is empty and that means zero but however the space where we have seven the space where we have three and the space where we have four represent people who use only one cream all right we have three four and a seven and when we add up this we get 14 it means 14 people use only one cream all right again the number of people who use two cream can be calculated 
that is the circled positions and we can add up those numbers so we have a 5 a 2 and an 8 so when these numbers are added together we get a 15 so 15 pips use 2 cream 15 pips use 2 creams only all right finally if we want to get how many pips are in the school we add up everything in the vein diagram and let's go to the board so when we add all the numbers together this is what we get 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 and plus 8 well that is going to give us 29 the number 29 so there are 29 people in the school all right hope you had great time watching and i want to encourage you to do your quiz and assignment thanks for watching see you in the next class bye